Hello, everybody. My name is Merc, and I'm playing some more Elden Ring. We have found ourselves back at Patch's Cave. I wanted to go see what he, if he had anything new to sell. But after I bought some stuff, he mentioned that I am now worthy, uh, worthy customer of opening up that treasure chest uh, since I'm such an extra special buyer for him. Uh, let's talk to him here, though. What's wrong? I've made up my mind. The treasure chest is yours, in word and deed. Sure, it may be worth its weight in gold, but Apache's promise, well, that's priceless. He's saying he's promising. What's wrong? I've got treasure So, I guess we can open up this treasure chest. He does not sell anything new that I notice anyway. Uh, I don't remember. I didn't buy anything off him in particular. So maybe I just spent a decent number of souls on him and he decided it was worth the effort. Of course, it was trapped. I was spamming the dodge button. But I guess it was supposed to happen this way. My sincerest gratitude. I thought I'd never reach that thing over. You're the finest customer a man ever had. Okay. Well, that's one way to start a video, I guess. We'll find out where we are in a moment. Take a sip of water in the meantime. We are in Limgrave in front of a bear. A rune bear. Oh, we're over here. Um, wasn't gonna go over here. <laughs> but now our choice has been made for us. There's a bunch of rune bears. Oh. Oh. Got the map directly in front of us. There's so many bears. I'm really worried about this one behind us, let alone the one in front of us. We'll creep on this way. Not going to summon anything just yet. Until we have a good idea as to what we're dealing with. Seems that that rune bear, rune bear is just patrolling the lake while this one scratches at the tree. I don't know how bad I want to fight this thing. The answer is not really. I did make a joke at the end of the last video that we can go fight the rune bear now. Well, we're here in front of a rune bear. Just gonna slowly creep to this map marker. Limgrave East. Seems we're safe for the moment. Let's check out the description of Limgrave East. Map of eastern region of Limgrave. Other than the Mistwood, which envelops the south, it is known for its lands, which led to Kate, which lead to Kaelid, a path trod by many a soldier in the past. New map has been found. Okay, so I think we've only been into these Murkwater catacombs. We haven't like checked out over here. This upper region appears to be a fort in the southeast corner. We have seen that before now that I think about it. Uh, there's a building near us. This deep wood section is kind of scary. We have been down here. There's a bunch of coffins. Actually, they're actually marked on the map right here. And then... Finger Reader Crone is over here. There is another one over there. Don't know what that means. And this area seems to lead to Caitlid, which is these bonfires over here. Man, we've got ourselves in quite a mess. I don't even know where to begin. I was already having that uh those thoughts before this video started. Now I'm even more unsure. So which way is this? I guess we'll go check out this building. For lack of a better starting point. You can't teleport, right? You cannot just yet. Seems like they want us to go into this building. They spawned us looking at it, essentially. On the other side of that bear. Bunch of flask scarabs. 
Underground ahead. Skill required ahead. Now, is that saying you should look for a specific skill, or do you need some general skills in order to deal with that area? Could be either or. We're at the edge of the level here, or the edge of the island. Probably not going to see anything over here, but want to go see anyways. Indeed, we found the ocean. Surprise! Bunch of flask scarabs. Do they grow in this area? Live in this area? Thrive in this area? Are they trapped? Push around tumbleweed. <laughs> I guess we'll go uh, down here. Siofra? Siofra River Well. Hole ahead. Don't you dare. There's a lot of blood stains here. Well, I don't know what else we're going to do, so we're doing it. Appears to be some sort of magical elevator, as opposed to a mundane elevator that we've been encountering so far. I'm going quite a ways down. Still, still quite a ways down. I wonder if there's somewhere we could have jumped to. Probably not. Hopefully not. Oh, it's getting creepy down here. Still going down. Heard some uh, bones rattling above us. I don't know if that was just a sting in the music or actually signified something. I have a feeling this area is probably not where we want to be. Holy crap. Siofra. Siofra. Siofra River. Jeez. Didn't expect something incredible. I don't believe it. Why is it always something incredible? I'm going to check the map. We are underground, so we don't have a map necessarily. No item ahead, therefore despair. Got ourselves a, a tablet of sorts. Uh, depicting the civilization that was here before. Guess we're touching the site of grace. Well, before we just up and leave this horrible area, I'm uh, assuming it is horrible. We'll explore it a little bit. Stars, so to speak, too high up. What is this? Melted mushroom. New material for us. A mushroom that grows in the false night in and around the Eternal City. It drips with a viscous fluid that behaves much like oil. New herbs as well, I'm assuming. Ducist Herba. Read that real quick. An herb that grows in the false night in and around the Eternal City, soaked in arcane dew, it gives off the faint glow of starlight. Well, I'm a little worried about what's going to pop out in this area, because there's no way it's just a big old empty zone. What does this message say? No enemy ahead. I mean, I immediately thought there would be one. Still can't tell if that rattling means anything. Furl, furl calling finger remedy. Saying, hey, you might want to summon someone down here. Or maybe this is a good spot for PvP action.
do see a cooking pot to our right, but there's no fire underneath it. I feel like I hear twinkling and it might be in these bushes up ahead. Or maybe I'm just seeing some glowing herbs. I'm like really prepared for something to start shooting us or jump down and try to kill us, which is why I'm taking it so slowly. Bunch of items. I do hear this twinkling of a scarab. Is it behind this rock? Or is it behind this wall? Hopefully it didn't hear me run away. I guess it didn't really run. Walk away. Still no enemy. We are at the brazier. Silver firefly. Already encountered one of those. Nothing going on in that corner. This is just the calm before the storm for sure. Surely there's going to be something horrible here. Golden rune. I do see some creatures in the distance. I don't think we've encountered these types of monsters before. How about along this main path? Not seeing anything, although I think I might see something behind these trees. I don't know. I might just be seeing things. Another golden rune. Time for running. Laggardly sort ahead, therefore try circling around. Laggardly. That's a good word. So I'm assuming whatever we're about to see is going to be rather slow. Time for crab. I'm assuming that was a player spirit. Stay calm required ahead. Grab all these herbas. We don't know what they're going to be used for, but I'm assuming they're just a better va a variant of herbs in general. So, there's a lot of uh, these new creatures in front of us. Some of them are equipped with staves. Try striking and then time for jump attack. Grabbed all the herbas. I think one might have just seen me. I'm just going to back out of there. And we'll go along this uh, side of these ruins here. Although I see more bloodstains this way. There is like five enemies ahead. Try sorcery. Well, I don't got no sorcery. I'll use my sorcelled arrows. Which one of these should we mess with? I feel like this one's the closest to us. Forty-five damage with one shot. New type of battle music. Hide behind the tree, just in case it starts trying to cast on us. They do be very slow, it looks like. No rush to go anywhere. Okay. Seemed like a decent dodge there. Very slow. 
not extremely powerful. Or at least hardy. Seem to die pretty quickly. Unfortunately, they're all alert now. They are very slow. What if I do this? <laughs> Nothing really, because by the time they get over here, the fire is going to be gone. Okay, so what if I do this? I'm a noble sorcerer, see what kind of damage this man can get done. Oh, they didn't actually see me, they just heard the noise that we made. And they take very little sorcery damage, it seems. It's going for a grab. I hate to see what's going on with these men when they're capable of moving. Okay, it did some decent damage. Throw a, a holy water pot at him. Not a whole lot of damage. Let's attack after this. Oh, it has they have an attack that drags you in afterwards. Our noble sorcerer is already dead. Okay, so I can totally see why people are dying in this area. Underestimate them for a moment, you find yourself dragged in and grabbed. Okay, just like that. This big old stab attack. Yep, I knew that one was hitting me. Laggardly sort indeed. Wait for the animation to end. Then go in for the kill. Did get a flask back, but we used a little too many there. For me to feel good about how that went down. Definitely should have pulled more one at a time. As opposed to fighting five at a time. Well, considering it's just a bunch of slow enemies right now, I'm not too worried about continuing on. We'll continue getting more new items. Maybe we'll find a cookbook down here. A uh, bit of a shame that our noble sorcerer died so quickly. But that's basically how I expected that to go down in the first place. This looks like this could be uh, an area to fight a boss in. Follow the path of Urbas. Got a lily over there. Don't really want to walk into the middle of this area. Oh, it's a ghost glove wart. I guess there's uh, not necessarily lilies down here. I like how there's like stars above us. in the cave ceiling. Golden Rune 4, and an elevator that takes us up. Well, before we take an elevator up, let's see what else we got going on in this area. We totally skipped this uh, ruin section. On purpose, of course. Got a red scarab to our left. Seems like we're okay to go and try to kill it. Taking quite a bit more damage than I'm used to. But we got all of our flasks back. A lot of herbas right there. 
Guess we can ride our horse down here. I'm content with uh, our speed of exploration anyway, though. A budding horn times three. That's got to be a material. Right here. A rarely seen specimen of a young budding horn. Found by hunting her... her Herbivor uh, herbivor herbivorous? Herbivorous. You say carnivorous all the time. You don't really say herbivorous. Uh, this horn began to sprout on a beast that typically bears no horn. Perhaps it's a vestige of the primordial crucible. I don't know why, but I thought I saw something. When I closed the menu. Freaked me out a little bit. There's so many. So many of these monsters here. Perhaps I'm the monster. And they're just trying to live their best life. Oh, this one seems a little more lively than the others. It doesn't have a weapon in its hand. I mean, it's jumping around. That's more than I can say about the other ones. Really don't want to fight all these dudes. So that man just tried to Kamehameha us. There was a... Chunk of rubble in its way. Kamehameha seems pretty slow. Quite an explosion, though. Kind of want to do this again. Fire didn't do too much crazy damage. That was poorly timed. Two hand the axe again. These two are pretty similarly timed, so we can get a nice heavy attack in there. Oh, they like fall apart and turn into sludge almost. They do get staggered a little bit. Just a little bit. Wasn't expecting a big punch from the sorcerer. Got another one to our right. All that for some rainbow stones. That sounds about right. Oh, there's another one to our right. We did get grabbed. I got so greedy. He just picked up my head and impaled me. All right, well, we've seen the grab animation. Let's not have that happen again. Trying to go for the backstab, it worked that time. I wonder if they maybe take uh, more or less damage to different types of resistances. Or different types of damage. Let's uh, test that theory, even though the rusted anchor is certainly weaker. Let's see how much damage it does to this man in the corner. Doesn't seem like a whole lot more. Or a whole lot less. Don't do this at home, kids. Switch out to the, the hammer right in front of his face. Oh, that seems to do quite a bit more damage. Maybe they're weak to strike. We'll, we'll try out the hammer a little bit more for the moment. Golden rune. Most of these items are not seeming that valuable. Looks like they all are using their staff so we don't need to be worried about casters got greedy there went for a full combo this hammer does seem to be if only i had a stone astrolabe what a what a message yeah if this if this hammer was more leveled up it would probably be doing quite a bit more damage than our axe would 205 on a heavy strike. Let's switch back to our great axe. Excuse me. 
Let's switch back to our Great Axe. Thankfully, these guys are so slow that I can do this. Um, okay, I was gonna say, what's going on here? Go for the big stab. It just... just stabbed me in the head. It's got more range than I thought. 256 on a heavy with the Great Axe. Oh, where did you come from? You must have been lagging behind this laggardly sort. Okay, this these uh, encounters could be going much smoother, but I'm being a bit of a dummy. Some smithing stone twos, so at least we're not too underleveled for this area. That is l what we're looking for. Someone became an Elden Lord. Good for them. We did see the scarab to our left. It's on top of a statue. This one's not reacting just yet to our presence. This one's not reacting at all to our presence. Okay, so I wonder if they're blind. They don't appear to have eyes. So maybe they only hear or sense the rumbling of my attacks, and that's what causes them to lurch forward. Smithing stone four. So maybe we are here a little early. <laughs> we don't necessarily need smithing stone fours just yet. Try projectile weapon. Time for fire. Where is this guy pointing at? It's pointing up. Oh, it's suggesting shooting the scarab. That actually seems wise. Let's, before we do that, make sure that this room is safe. Seems that way. This looks like a half-broken statue. I'm assuming this is going to try to roll off now. Oh, love to crouch. Such a crouch boy. That looks like a new type of scarab. Oracle Bubbles. Let's read what that has to say in its description. It is a sorcery launches several small magic bubbles. Sorcery of the clay men who served as priests in the ancient dynasty. Produces several small magical bubbles that drift towards foes before they naturally pop. Charging increases the delay before the bubbles pop. The clay men search for lost oracles within their bubbles. Lost oracles? Does that mean they're looking for like visions of the future or they're looking for specific people who are oracles? So I noticed this thing. Don't like that. Ah, beautiful. Praise the bug. Yeah, we're praising it, alright. A golden centipede. Oh, we're praising it. What the heck? Golden centipede. Found near churches and similar. The golden, desiccated remains of a centipede. Material used for crafting. Kept as a fetish by the golden order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. As such, they're found near churches and similar. The Golden Order Fundamentalists, especially the Hunters of Those Who Live in Death. So the Hunters of Those Who Live in Death, which I believe D is a part of, um, at the round table hold, I may be incorrect in that assumption. He hasn't really said much since we've talked to him. But it seems to be that that is a, a, a segment of the Golden Order. And I can only imagine the Golden Order are people trying to restore the glory of the Erd Tree of ages past. So all the clay men have been destroyed. Seems like there's not a whole lot of reason to go through these ruins. Other than... To uh, just, you know, get all the items. Trying to see if there's a way to jump down into that pit. Oh, there's a clay man above there, too. It looks like we cannot, unless we do some creative platforming here. 
love to platform in Souls games. But those two are casters. Oh, there's a, a golden centipede up there as well. How do we get that? I guess with the horse? Oh, actually, we don't even need the horse, but the horse would help. Okay. <laughs> we can just climb up this wall here. That is one thing I need to keep in mind for sure is there's a lot more verticality in climbing in these games. Grab more golden centipedes, fill our pockets with the corpses of gross bugs. Don't want to fall here. I'm assuming those sorcerers are going to see us at any moment, although that said, I think I determined that they don't see. Or at least, that's what I'm thinking. My initial suspicions. So if that is the case, we're just going to creep up slowly on these two. This one sees us. This one sees us. Ooh, that was a little scary. Tried to go for the backstab there. Didn't happen the way I wanted it to. Got the bubble beam. Just going for the full fisty combo. That's a rather quick animation. This has a little bit of a homing effect on it. I guess it's not that quick of an animation. I was just kind of swinging in his face a bunch. Okay. We survived that ordeal. Throwing daggers. We got a bunch of them now. We probably should switch off these bone darts because we can't craft more anyway. And we'll switch to our nearly 20 throwing daggers. Regret ahead. Saying don't go this way. Unless you have a reason to, and I don't think I do. Try rolling. All that for whatever item this is. There's a bit of a scary jump there. Here. Yeah, that seems wise. Press the blood stain and watch him fell. Okay, that was a little... A little close for the comfort there. We're okay, though. Silver pickled foul foot. So we have had gold before. Gold increased our rune gain from enemies we've slain. Silver boosts item discovery. I feel like that's the opposite of how the Souls games usually work. Usually the silver covetous ring gives you more souls and the gold covetous rings give you more items. Four toed, uh, four toed foot of a fowl pickled in a silvery medicinal solution. Since old times, the needy would scrape the meat clean even from a fowl's claw. When you're eating bird feet, you gotta be pretty hurting, pretty hungry. No fall damage. We'll uh, get on torrent and head back. It does seem like. There's nothing going on over here. Now that we've kind of cleared the area, how many? We have two flasks left. Um, let's unequip these. I don't think we made new fire bombs. So we'll make five more of those for now. Put them on the action bar. So we explored over there. There's an elevator in this building. Before we go to the elevator, let's go check out this waterfall in the surrounding area. So I'm assuming these piles of sludge are clay men that are going to form into clay men, I guess, as we approach. Ah, group. Ambush ahead. Seems like as long as we don't get too deep in the water, they're not going to reconstitute. This is going to say no secret ahead, right? Necessary item ahead. Yeah, I didn't think there would be anything 
behind the waterfall. Kind of surprised none of them reacted to that water, or to me, uh, slamming the axe down. Didn't notice this little off-colored area, but I guess it's just a weird texture in the wall. Not sure how I want to deal with this. One at a time, preferably. Wow, who knew? Surprise! There's 20 men in front of you. Okay, well, at least we killed one. <laughs> oh, that was close. Uh-oh. Oof, we almost got grabbed. Okay, that did decent damage, not spectacular. I can't believe I just missed that fire pot. Excuse me? How did I do that? Bad case of hitbox porn. You may see that in some of these other games. You can do some crazy stuff by shifting your hitbox. I don't know why I went in on that time. Pretty sick of these dudes, not gonna lie. Don't really want to use every single fire pot we made, though. Them butterflies ain't infinite. Mm. Oh my god, I almost let that happen. Another attack. Tried to go for the backstab. Was not necessary, though. All right, that was the majority of them. Golden Rune 4. Oh, that's, that ghost scared me. Smithing Stone 4 as well. A bunch of silver fireflies in the corner. Easy backstab. Fully charged R2. We get a flask back. Area's not too bad. This looks kind of like a doorway, but I guess it's not. I guess they're just windows. Barred up windows. There's not going to be anything back here. But there is an item. We almost missed that. Soap! Necessary item ahead. Soap. Are you saying I stink? Um... Soap times three removes filth and accumulations on the body. A plant-based soap made from mushroom juice cleans off filth and other accumulations on the body while also slightly reducing poison buildup. Filth covering the exterior eventually seeps inside, soiling one's very spirit. Interesting. Okay, so in Dark Souls 2, there were sections where you would go into like waist-deep or even shoulder-deep poison pools, and as you emerged from them you would still be covered in the poison and it would still tick poison onto you until a certain point. So that makes me wonder if that might be a similar mechanic in this game and you have to use soap to get rid of it. Keep that one in mind for future use for sure. Ride up the teleporter. I mean, I wonder if I can use the soap now and remove all the blood from my clothes. That's pretty funny. If it could also just be used to Enhance the visuals. Another starry night sky above us, even though we're underground. A bunch of statues to our left. And a river flowing down. I can't tell if that river, if it's just the lighting effect or if it's blood. It's probably just a lighting effect. Wouldn't make sense that the blood would fall down this waterfall and turn into water again. Have a look see at that statue. Doesn't look like there's anything too interesting going on with it. Some crabs down there. This one doesn't have its uh bowl lit. The bowl is not lit, fam. We got another giant crab in the distance. 
What's going on in here? Man with the curved great axe. Perishes to an unknown monster. Another weird texture to the side. I almost wonder if those are just, uh... No necessary item ahead. If these weird textures are, like, placeholder that they didn't get back to. Because it's in such a weird corner, no one would really look here. Similar to the last time I saw a weird texture down below. Preserving boluses. Uh, let's see what those do. Alleviate scarlet rot buildup and cures rot. Scarlet boluses are made of cave moss. Scarlet rot accumulates gradually, coming into effect once the threshold is reached. Scarlet rot ailment greatly reduces HP in steady incre increments for a period. So it eats away at your max HP. That seems no bueno. Definitely don't want to be messing with Scarlet Rot. I can see why that is pretty effective in PvP. Wasted a throwing knife there. And again. <laughs> try left. Is this one going to say try right? I kind of hope so. A beast liver. Oh my gosh, I'm just wasting throwing knives galore. All that for a great dragonfly head. Not sure why the water appears to be red here. Is it these crabs pooping in the water? Do they got red poop? Probably, uh... Get that checked out. I do see the biggin behind the pillar. Behind the tree, I guess. Yeah, it appears to be, a. Uh, Broken tree. I don't know how far these crabs might sense me. So I'm just going to take it very slow over here. Kind of want to heal up. What are the chances they're going to hear me chug? It did not. I'm not going to loot this just yet. I feel like this log was going to crack. can't tell if this is a bigger crab than usual. It seems normal. Normally big. Got a flask back, which is good because it chunked us quite a bit there. Crab hole. Nice. That was the crab hole. Crab eggs. Still no precious item. I was uh, curious as to whether the, the tiny crabs were going to attack us this time. So far, it seems like they don't mind when the matriarch gets killed. Not a whole lot going on over here. Otherwise, just time for crab. So we press onwards. Get out of the water for a moment. Keep hearing weird noises. I'm assuming it's just the ambiance of this weird area. Mushroom, oh mushroom. Would love to know what the melted mushrooms will be used for. Even more stronger fire pots? I'd be pretty pleased with that, not gonna lie. Although the fire pots seem to be doing some crazy work so far, even when enemies are a little bit resistant to fire or even to uh, holy water, I guess, is the other fire pot or the other pot we've been throwing. Behold, stars. Jumping required ahead. Are you sure? It does look like we can get get some climbing action going on. There is a map. Or a map stone. Map monument. 
there was an item up here. Golden Rune 3 for our troubles. Looks like there's a, an area up there as well. More Grave Glove Wart, I assume. Ghost Glove Wart. Those are used to power up our ashes, if you may recall. Seems like we've made enough progress here that we've got ourselves a new site of grace. Stay calm, oh stay calm. Wow. This area is astonishing. Appears to be a wisp in the distance. A will-o'-wisp of sorcery, it looks like. Uh, I think this is the time when we sit down. Actually, before we do that, let's go to this monument. This either be a good idea or a terrible idea. The crab to our left. Try fire. Light flame. What did that accomplish? It's lit, fam. Well, I was hoping that was a map. Check the map again. There is no such map here, and it seems we cannot teleport. So we're stuck down here for the moment. We'll sit down this time. Actually, uh, let's see our options again here. Apologies. Still can't alter any garments. The Ashes of War, don't want to mess with necessarily. We can level up once. Having more HP didn't help us versus those rats. <laughs> um, is it time to start putting points into Dexterity? Let's try to use that big old sword. Let's do it. Work our way towards 14 dexterity. I was going to do that anyway, and then we got that big sword, which is even more justifying that idea. Okay, so the screams are these elks in the distance. Be wary of wraith. Yeah, I'm seeing them. It's funny that we didn't see them when we were on the rubble. Precious item. Check around the corner. Nothing doing. Did it respawn all the herba? I guess so. There's two more herba back there, and I'm certain we picked those up. What are these creatures? Beyond wraiths. Appear to have a quiver on their back. Hey, elk, don't... Don't spoil. Alright, we got some minotaur-looking creatures. They're rather quick. Ooh. Rather quick indeed. Let's heal up. See how uh, fire damage does against it. Not bad. It just... <laughs> it just uh, hit me with its forearm. I want to try... A holy water pot now. This is not the way you should be doing this, folks, but this is the way I'm going to do it. <laughs> it worked. I used it from the menu. It didn't seem like it did that much damage. I probably should have just went for the R2. It's interesting that a uh, Wraith can stagger. They appear to be rather beefy humans in, uh... Armor's Cookbook. Nice. They appear to have, uh... Some old-looking equipment. Do I really want to cull these creatures here? I need, do need some beast bones. I'm sorry. I need some beast bones. Did another one just fall down to you? Yeah, it did. It's not necessarily in front of the crabs. We could go get that if we really want. 
Get some more beast bones. Some bone darts. I think we're just going to ignore that other corpse of the elk. We're done with our hunting for today. But yeah, it appeared that those wraiths were garbed in uh, hunter-gatherer clothing. Skins and equipped with horns on their helmet. The crab is moving. Seems to just be scavenging. I don't really want to fight it while we don't know what's going on with that blue magic orb. Let's go back this way. Go back this way, pull out the bow, see if we can shoot it. Tried to lead the shot there. Got less range than I think I do with the short bow. Almost. Don't want to waste too many arrows, don't want to get too far deep in this uh, lake, for lack of a better word. Okay, don't want to waste too many arrows, but here we are. Wasting arrows. I feel like that one might have hit. Can I not lock onto it? Hmm. Well, now I'm wondering if it's just a trap. Like you touch it. I had a feeling that elk was going down. Hello, Sir Krabby. Madame Krabby. If we want to stay in front of it. Rather than to the sides. Even getting hit there, I still believe that that is the case. The big front slam is the only scary attack. Got our flask back as well. Do I want to touch this thing? I don't want to touch this thing. But we're going to touch it. Okay. You don't touch the thing. It seems that after it gets triggered, it expels all of its energy and disappears. So that's good, at least. We've figured out what it does. You probably don't want to be in water when you get shocked. I imagine that's part of the reason why that did such big damage. It's kind of silent over here. It appears to be some hunting grounds. Got a warthog. And another, uh, Barbarian. What can we... Do we have a lot of... We have a lot of, uh... Tarnished Golden Sunflowers now. Oh, it sees me. Uh, so we'll quickly pull out those. Holy Water Pots. 130 damage. was the second coming in a great horned headband nice we're putting that on immediately oh i'm used to doing the three strikes two and the walk forward three i got so greedy with that thankfully i did get some super armor fully charging up that r2 and we got a flask back for the efforts we definitely need to see what's going on with this Headband decorated by a pair of great horns worn by ancestral follower warriors. The ancestral followers can keep their distance from the Ur tree, awaiting new buds. They are certain to sprout from their very flesh and indeed their souls. They keep their distance from the Ur tree, awaiting new buds. They are certain to sprout from their very flesh and indeed their souls. What does that mean? We're definitely keeping this on. This looks ridiculous. We're on. We're at a heavy load, though. 
Let's switch our pants. Um, just seeing, looking at the stats, seeing if anything looks too interesting. We'll put on the hide-in trousers for now. With our new horned headpiece, <laughs> we look ridiculous. So, going back to that item, does it mean that they keep their distance from the tree knowing that the buds will sprout on their flesh? On themselves, knowing that they don't need to be near the earth tree. None of these warthogs have tusks. Which means that they don't necessarily want to battle us. Which to me... Uh, reinforces my theory that this is a bit of a hunting grounds. This is probably where they raised warthogs. Nice. Big. Charge R2 goes... Uh, and staggers the enemy, giving us a free backstab opportunity. No new items here. So, my assumption is we're going to have to light all these fires in the area, and then something will trigger and allow us to find a boss. Otherwise, complete this section. Not going to mess with these warthogs necessarily. No real reason to. A lump of flesh. I think that is new. New type of meat. Uh, maybe not. Meat suitable for a rustic feast. Filled with rich juices. We have nine of them, so I don't think we just got nine there. Seems that this area is now clear, though. I really like this area so far. It's, uh... Somewhat creepy, while also being pretty soulsy so far. I don't know what that means necessarily. It just it feels all right exploring this area. Okay, I was going to say, are you coming up here or am I going down there? I think you're going down, sir. And then I'll go down after too. Warthog's in the corner. No beast bones. A shame, really. I want to figure out a way of disarming these lightning traps, lightning spirits, some living magic. A way of disarming them that doesn't involve... Holy crap! Doesn't involve doing what I just did. We almost died. That did a lot of damage even though we weren't in the... The water, so I almost wonder if water doesn't necessarily affect lightning in this game. It still might. It might make the area of effect greater. This area looks pretty big. Somber smithing stone. Melting mushrooms. What the heck is this? It's a hole. It's true. Uh, there's a turtle on the rock over there. Some more herba. Came from in between these two pillars. Which means we haven't checked out over there. Nor that ruined temple looking area to the right. And it appears that there's quite a m much to do beyond these pillars. These columns. This architecture. Are we going to hit this? We're doing it. Travel to another location. Seems like it's sending wind forward that way. I don't know if we do want to travel to another location necessarily. We kind of got ourselves in another location at the start of this video. Hence why we're here. I was just going to go to the Stormvale Castle. Among other things that I had in mind. But now... We found ourselves in a whole new mess. I imagine once we finally get to Stormvale... 
we'll find ourselves overprepared. I almost feel like we'll get there and everything will die rather quickly. The map of the Siafra River. That's new. It's on a corpse. It's not usually, or it hasn't been on corpses before. New map has been found. So now we have an underground map. Show above ground with clicking in the right stick. Holy crap. Okay. So we spawned it down here. I'm just trying to get a bearings. This was... I don't even know. I don't even know. This is the hunting grounds that we found. This is the dam. So this is like the, the waterfall area. Seems to me like there's a whole other area up here that we haven't encountered yet. Maybe if we walk along this wall... Could be a possibility. A lot of verticality in this game. Definitely don't want to go that way. There's uh, another island to our right with a pathway. And it seems like there's no marking. There's no map markers necessarily. Got rather quiet. Did we check up here? I don't think so. That answers the question. Found a bunch of, uh... Gatherers. Scavengers. Of the... Follower... Warriors. Ancestral follower warriors. Getting a sneak attack... Simplifies things quite a bit. One has a staff and one has a hammer. We got dwelling arrows. Oh, they didn't even... See me. They just heard the commotion. This one might see me. No? Maybe because I have the helmet on, it's like, oh, you're one of us. Don't want to find out what your staff does. Much rather fight this man since we know what their move set is at least an idea of it seems like they have no poise at all so i can kind of just r1 spam do a bunch of light or normal attacks loot up this area i don't know how much we're going to need of these Dukis Herbas. But we're gonna have a lot of them. Actually, we didn't even check out that, that cookbook and the arrows. Let's check out those arrows. The dwelling arrows. Arrow in which the spirits of small animals are thought to dwell. It deals magic damage used by master hunters of the ancestral followers. Go back to the key items. Have a look at the cookbook that we got. It was number six, if I remember correctly. Armor's cookbook six. A re record... Of crafting techniques left by an armor who served the great general Radon. Uh, and it allows us to craft preserving boluses, which will be good for when we encounter more crimson rot. In fact, let's have a look at uh, what we would need to make those. So, a bunch of Dukis Herb, but we already have 155 crystal cave moss and a sacramental bud. Um. Might be it for this little area. I'm just going to keep collecting these herbas, even though... We have tons of them already. Not quite sure how we found ourselves with 155, but I guess we have been looting a lot. I feel like there's more spirits up ahead. More ancestral warriors. The old blue item into Arteria Leaf Disappointment. Never fails. Inverted Hawk Heater Shield. That is interesting. Shield that has the symbol inverted. 
Why is that? A medium-sized metal shield, easier to handle than a kite shield. The inverted hawk is the emblem of the company of slaves ordered to explore the Eternal City. Okay. Almost wonder if that hawk is a reference to something. A particular anime, perhaps? Um, I'm not much of an anime aficionado, so I'm not going to say one way or the other. It does seem reminiscent of, uh, Berserk. And, uh, I do know Mr. Miyazaki loves himself some Berserk. Rest in peace to the creator. I, I don't know his name because, like I said, I'm not an anime aficionado. My cousin's been reading it a bunch and seems to love it. And I know other cousins who have read it a lot, or read the whole thing probably. Since I guess it's finished now. But anyway, back into the task at hand. We're at the Holly Hollow Hallowhorn Grounds. So I was right, this is kind of like a temple. If the area is hallowed, that means it's revered, it's holy. I'm almost certain there's a boss right here. We have six flasks. So we're going to continue forward. Not seeing any items, which is making me even more suspicious of this area. Whatever that horned corpse is in front of us in the middle of the temple. I'm assuming it's going to get up and try to attack when we give it a, a moment. When it is aware of our presence, perhaps. This thing appears to be long dead, but that doesn't stop it. Stop other things from getting up when they're long dead. It is like a giant elk. Very complicated antlers. Well, I think I'm concluded that this thing's not going to get up. It looks like a rather static model. I didn't expect blood to come out of it. Is this thing going to kick me into the abyss if I go back here? Nope. All that for a troll message. Which was, uh... Probably the least creative thing you could have uh, put there for sure. Doesn't appear that there's any items at all over here. Don't really want to ride the horse along the precipice here. I wonder if there's going to be an NPC or some other encounter here later. Ew, listen to it. It makes, uh, gross noises when you climb on its decaying corpse. Which, you know, sounds right. <laughs> what if I try to leave? Are you going to let me leave? Looks like I'm just leaving. Alright, well... Maybe after we light all these, uh, sconces, it'll cause that corpse to react or something else to happen. Let's see a bit of a cropping, outcropping down here. Oh, there's an item. Maybe I shouldn't have just jumped down that way, but I made my decision. A horn bow. First off, can we use it? We cannot. It requires 12 intellect. In addition to 14 dexterity, it's got a mighty shot skill. Longbow made from animal horn, wielded by the master hunters of the ancestral followers. Imbues arrows fired with magic damage, reveals its true worth when f used with magic infused arrows. Uh, let's have a look. So it does do 30 
magic damage in addition to the standard physical damage that my bow does. And apparently, if you use it while firing a magic arrow, it becomes even more powerful. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever have the opportunity to use that. I don't plan on leveling intellect anytime soon. Oh, crap. Of course, it was uh, easy to go down there, but coming back up, not necessarily. Let's get off the horse. Okay, we traded. As far as I'm concerned, that was a good trade. We dodged the arrow. We dodged both the arrow and the attack there. Ooh. We led this man behind the rocks. So we're safe from the archer. And now we are doing a one-on-one -on -one battle. Excuse me a lot while I get this herb. <laughs> it's got a nice bow there. I seem to have my own version of it. But it's not going to be enough versus this great axe. Okay, so they can just switch back to their normal axe as well. Back at six flasks. We got another budding horn. From that monster. That man. That spirit. That wraith. Man, how long has this video been going on? Probably, uh, I should have checked that one. Apologies. Oh, geez. It's been going on for quite a while. Um... So, I think that actually means we're going to end the video here. I'm not going to sit down. I'm going to pick up the video right where we leave off. I'm just going to get a bit closer to the shrine of the site of grace there. I guess we don't necessarily need to. It is just right over there. Kind of uh, cleared out this area a little bit. Still a couple traps left. And then we'll go across this little area. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh... Tune in tomorrow for yet another, uh, whatever's going on down here. I don't even remember this area. What's this area's name? Oh, yes. Siafro River. So, yes, uh, tune in for that. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.